Gratitude is not just something soft, it's actually science and it's wild how misunderstood it is. My name is Erica, I'm a licensed therapist and a believer and in this space we talk about faith and psychology. Most people think that gratitude involves writing a list or saying thank you God to stay positive, but biologically something much deeper is happening. When gratitude becomes a habit, the brain starts to rewire. So what happens is that the levels of dopamine and serotonin rise. The amygdala, remember that is the part of the brain that is the fear center, that starts to slow down and the nervous system starts to shift out of fight or flight. This is not just about trying to be positive and pretend peace. The body is actually learning what calm is again. And this is what scripture talks about when it talks about renewal, renewing the mind. Renewal is not just spiritual verbiage. We're talking about neuroplasticity. So gratitude will teach the mind to stop leaning into fear and to start recognizing the good that's already here. This is not just mindset, it's actually medicine and it is one of the simplest ways to get your nervous system out of overdrive. If this resonated, follow along for more because this week we're going to be talking a lot about gratitude.